Good evening, Mr. Rivas. How are you tonight? Good evening, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Evelyn. How are you tonight? I'm fine, but a little cold. It's a little cold? Yes. Oh, I can imagine. It's because of the rain, probably, right? But um, is it raining a lot in the city where you live in? Uh, no. Not a little. A little. Okay. Yes. So same happens here in my neighborhood. So it's not really, it's not raining a lot, thankfully, right? So, well, let's see. Thank you for joining the class. So let's see who else is here. So we have also Daniel. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Um, how are you tonight? Very good. Very good. Okay, great. Excellent. So we miss you yesterday because you normally participate a lot, right? So you yeah. didn't part you didn't participate last night, but thank you very much for being here tonight. I truly appreciate that. So let's see here. Okay. So guys, we are just waiting for some other classmates to join the class, all right? Just let's give a couple of minutes.
let's see who else is in the class. So we have Miguel, Carlos, Evelyn, Reina, and Ursula, who said that it's going to be as a listener. So just good evening, everybody, and welcome to the class. Just some more minutes more. One more minute, and that will be all, all right? Just one more minute. Let's see who else. Mr. Edwin, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great, great, great. Excellent. So let's see who else is coming. Nuria also here. Good evening, Nuria. Okay, well, everybody, now we are going to start with the class. So officially, um, good evening and welcome to the class, right? So we have a, a lot of activities uh, to work on tonight. Well, especially you guys have a lot of things to work on. So you have to be talking a lot tonight, right? So the first thing here we are going to be working on, it's this one. So take a look here, which is going to be this one. Take a look. So as every night, I like to start with a tongue twister, which is going to help you to improve your English level, right? So that's the reason why we are going to start with the first one here tonight. Let me repeat it for you. It's going to be super, super easy. There are only three words we have to repeat four times. All right. So the first one, red lorry yellow lorry and then you have to repeat exactly the same phrase four times right so red lorry yellow lorry red lorry yellow lorry red lorry yellow lorry red lorry yellow lorry easy right so i'm going to give you right now just two minutes so you can practice this easy tongue twister and then i will select some volunteers to listen to your your participations all right so everybody please let's do it Practice, 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 practice right now. So I to hear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right.
I have a question for everybody else. Eh, si se escucha bien o se escucha como bueno, no se escucha bien. All right, excellent. Thank you. So, Nuria, can you hear me properly now? Eh, ahorita sí se escucha. Okay, great, excellent. So, we are practicing the tone twister, all right? So, it's just practice right now for a couple of minutes, and then we will participate, okay? Eh, solo me repite, please, como se dice. Sure. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Thank you, teacher. That's the pronunciation, like that. Okay, okay. So let's see. Mm -hmm. So practice, I remember. Red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, yellow, yellow. Remember, right? So let's see here. Questions, questions. You still have one more minute to practice. Come on. Let me help you with the pronunciation again. So it's red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry, red lorry, yellow lorry. That's correct. Correct, correct, correct. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds, thirty seconds. Come on, everybody. You're still practicing that one. In the meantime, I want to say good evening to Noe, Maritza, Catherine. Thank you for joining the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening Noe, también. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Excellent, everybody. So time's up, time's up, time's up. So we need here to listen to some volunteers, all right? Hey, who is going to be my first volunteer? Excellent, Daniel, thank you very much, all right? Go ahead, let me hear you. Yes, we can. Okay. Yes. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Right. So you did good as well. Thank you. Easy. Right. So who's going to be the next Perfect. one? Next one. Next one. Me, teacher. Uh, okay. So I have a line right here. So according to this one, it will be Edwin, Evelyn, and then Nuria. Okay. Okay. 
All right, excellent. So, Edwin, you go first. Okay. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, right? So, that was good as well. Thank you. Good job. So, let's see. The next one here is going to be uh, Evelyn. All right, Evelyn? Okay. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Great. Excellent. This is an easy one, right? So, everybody can pronounce it quickly, right? So, thank you. Thank you for participating as well. All right, so then now I have Nuria. Come on, Nuria. Okay, red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Excellent. Thank you very much. You did also a good job as well, All right? Uh, anybody else um, that can actually uh, participate? Me teacher. Who's that one? That's going to be Noe, right? Yes. All right. Go ahead, my friend. Red, red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red mm. lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. All right. Excellent. So thank you very much. That was actually a very good job. Anybody else who wants to participate? Anybody else who can participate? Hello, hello? Nobody else? Let's see here. Okay, anybody else? Let's see who is available, like Carlos. Uh, Carlos is listening to now, yes, we're not so sure. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Catherine, do you participate already? Maritza, do you participate? Me, teacher. Who's that one, Carlos? Hello, Carlos. I thought you were a listener. Hello, teacher. Uh, no teacher, my okay. practice. Okay, go ahead. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. All right, excellent. Thank you very much for that one, all right? Thank you everybody else who participated. I truly appreciate it, right? So now let's just continue here with the next part of the class, which is this first review. All right, take a look at this one right here. So this is actually something that we uh, checked last night, all right? So last night we were talking about all those things right here. So then what we have to do right now, it's just like, you know, match them, right? It could be this one, this one, this one, as you consider, of course, all right? So that's what we're going to be working on tonight. Now, before we go and, um, you know, match the concept with the definition here, all right, so we are going to read the definitions just to make sure that we understand what we're reading. And I need a volunteer who can help me letter A, just for reading, reading, reading. What is it? Volunteer? I... Daniel, go ahead, letter A. Thank you. Letter A. Proceeding for making a tourist payment to vendors and other to provide goods and advice. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, my friend. Just remember two words right here. The first one, authorize. Repeat it. Authorize. Very good. And this one, remember services. Services. Exactly, exactly. Thank you very much. That's actually correct. Thank you, my friend. So now let's just go with the next one. Letter B. Who can help me with letter B? Me too. Uh, I got two volunteers, Nuria and Catherine. So I will go with Catherine and then with Nuria. All right? Okay. Thank you. Go okay. ahead, Catherine. 
a book or booklet of instruction mm -hmm. used to improve the quality of a performing task. Perform task. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually good. All right. Excellent. So remember, letter A, it was just simple, right? Los procedimientos, los procesos para hacer eh, pagos autorizados a los vendedores y otros eh, que proporcionan o proveen bienes y servicios. That was the first one, right? The second one says right here, a book, a booklet, como un libro o una libreta, the instrucciones used to improve, para, ¿qué era improve, people? Do you remember what was improve? Mejorar. Mejorar, thank you very much. So, for, to improve are the quality of performed task, right? Then, ¿cómo se lleva a cabo una tarea? Thank you. Uh, so, Nuria, go with letter C. Okay. Is policy outlines the entitlements and parameters for employees' time off in relation to non-occupational illness or injury? Injury. Very good. All right. Mm -hmm. Entitlements. All right. Thank you very much. What is the meaning of this word? Entitlements. Do you know it? Yes or no, my friends? No, teacher. No? Okay. No problem. So let me help you with that right now. So then we have this question right here, which is says entitlements, which is in Spanish, something that we know as like los rights or los derechos, all right? So viene siendo como igual a rights o derechos. That's actually what it means. Can you see it now? Yeah, derechos. Exactly, that's right, all right? So then, eh, you know, esa política, right? Oh, get an outline. Remember this one is from last night. Get an outline, let's see if you remember it. So lo vimos last night. Queda outline. Uh -huh. Outline. Describir. Describir. That is correct. That is correct. That is correct. So outline is describir. All right. So how can we understand this one? Es una política que describe los. Los que. Uh -huh. Los derechos, right? Los derechos. Y los parámetros para que el empleado, eh, para el empleado, de su tiempo libre, time off, this is how you say it, tiempo libre, right? Time off, tiempo libre. All right. Time off in relation to non-occupational illness or injury, right? So, eh, enfermedades no ocupacionales, right? So, o... Um, lesiones, right? So like this one. This is like non-occupational illnesses, obviously, puede ser una flu, una, grip, una gripe, um, a cough, a tos, etc. Or any virus, right? Que no tiene que ver con el trabajo o una lesión dentro del trabajo, which is injury. All right. Estamos claros con letter C, people? What, what is this? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you very much for confirming. I need another volunteer for letter D, please. Who's going to be my volunteer? Volunteer, hmm? volunteer for letter D. Come on, just read it. Uh, Catherine, right? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Please. Make it clear that harassment and discrimination will not be tolerated and set a standard and expectation for behavior. Thank you very much. All right, so let's repeat the pronunciation of this word right here, which is harassment repeat it harassment thank you very much that was a good job right so hey guys do you remember what was harassment do you remember what was it yes or no uh -huh. acoso. el acoso exactly right so that's correct and uh, uh, that's actually what it says right here. So now let's see. Trying to understand lo que nos quiere dar a, a entender ahí el paragraph, all right, or the, the sentence. So what is it? Mm -hmm. It says aclarar, of course, all right? So aclarar, it says here, eh, que el acoso y la discriminación no serán, no serán what, people? 
Tolerados. Tolerados, right? So, E, what's the meaning of set in this context? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's the meaning of Colocar. set? Excuse me? Colocar. Colocar, right? So, or we can actually understand in this context as establecer. All right? So, establecer los estándares y expectativas para el comportamiento. All right? So, this is actually how you say comportamiento, behavior, right? Okay, excellent. There you go. Thank you. So, let's just go on this one right here. Then we have a letter E, letter E, letter E. All right, so a volunteer for the last one, please. Who is going to be my volunteer now? Me, teacher. Thank you, Noe. Please go ahead. Okay, contain information on the procedure that applied with, with in the workplace so employees have rules to follow. Thank you very much. So we are going to review, Noe, the pronunciation of some words, the words that we have right here, all right? So this one right here and those four words so the first one the first one right here which is going to be this one so you pronounce it as this one all right so it says like in for may shen like this can you see it information information like that can you see it repeat it one more time information all right remember that the last one here it's a letter E, right? Una E, right? So it's information. Repeat it. Information. There you go. Exactly, right? So then we go with this word right here, which is like procedures. Procedures. Like procedures, exactly, right? And then this one, which is going to be very easy. Apply. Repeat it. Apply. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. So we have this one right here, which is employee, como con tilde, G, employee. Repeat it. Employee. Oh, and I guess there is another one that I forgot to underline here, but it's this one. It's not rules. It's, a, it's only rules. Rules. I see. Rules. Rules. Exactly, right? So thank you very much for being the volunteer, and thank you for applying the, um, the pronunciation corrections there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now everybody that we have understood this one, all right? La letra I dice, contain information, contain información de los, what is procedures? Procedimientos. Procedimientos, procesos. procesos. It's a synonym, basically, right? Que aplican con el eh, ambiente laboral, I mean, con el WordPress, en el lugar de trabajo, para que los employees tengan sus reglamentos a seguir. All right, so very good, excellent. Now, we have to match them, ladies and gentlemen. Match them, match them. All right. So let's see. We have the first one right here, which is uh, this one we have right here. Okay. So now tell me what is the first one? Workplace guidelines. What is it? A, B, C, D, E, or E. It's the last one. Uh -huh. What is it? The workplace guidelines, people. Letter B. Letter B. Yeah. All right. Yes or no, people? Uh -huh. What do you think? Let's do something. Let's organize the breakout room so you can go to the rooms and discuss this, uh, you know, in a more comfortable way. All right. So let's see how many are you right now. So we can have this one right here. Okay, let me check this attendance right now and tell me if you can participate, all right? So I understand, Daniel Membreño, you can participate in the activity, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, Ursula is listener. Noé, Gustavo Núñez, can you participate? Hello, Noé. Yes, yes, yes. Listener also. Vibes. Okay, so let's see. One second here. 
Okay, so it's remain listener. Okay, so let's see. Miguel Angel Santos is a listener. Edwin is a Ugal Dames. Can you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So we got number one. Um, very good. Sonia, good evening, Sonia. Can you participate? Hello, teacher. Yes. Okay, excellent. So we had this one. Evelyn. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Henry has connection problems, but I guess he can participate. Catherine Beatriz, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, no problem. So then we have Mr. Carlos Rivas. Are you active there to participate? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego, are you active also? Yes, teacher. Thank you. All right, so then we have Mr. Luna, which is a listener tonight. Eduardo Flores, are you active? Yes, teacher. Thank you. And Maritza Elizabeth, are you also active? Yes, teacher. Perfect. All right, excellent. So I have set the groups. All right, so everybody now, please. Let's see here. Let me just make a change right here. Excellent. So everybody go to the breakout rooms right now so you can complete this activity here. All right. Okay, very good. Let's see here. Hello, Edwin. Edwin, Edwin, I thought you said you were going to participate. Que están de oyentes. Yeah, you were supposed to yeah, be working, you were supposed with, to be working um, with um, Edwin, right? So, but what happens is that for some reason, I guess he had this, con I mean, connection problems because he went out. So, let me see if he's back. No, not yet. Okay, sí, yo solo quería 
eh, porque no le tomé captura, entonces solo quería pedir el screenshot, pero ya lo tengo. Ok, no problem. Yeah, it's in the group. Yeah. Ok. All right, excellent. So maybe you can continue working. Perhaps you can share your screen for them to see if they can give opinions. Maybe they can participate in the chat and help me with the answers, right? In the chat. Ok, Chisha. All right, I will go to a different room now. Thank you. Okay. Um, training manual. place. Information, the procedures that apply there. Uh, the number three is uh, letter, letter C, C. Okay. In the number one, con letter E. Y number two con letter B. Yes. No, eh, I thought you were a listener. So you can participate. Yeah, yeah, sí, yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, pues I'm going to send you to a different room porque en otro room tengo a a Sonia alone because those other son listeners. Can you help me with her? Okay. Okay, did you? Thank you. Ya vas adelantado con las respuestas. All right. So, <laughs> let's see. Hey. One second. I'll say to room number two. Go ahead. So, you guys finished? Are you sure? You don't want to change anything? No. All right. No problem. So I would just check it out, people. So no matter no what the mass and los otros rooms and see what happens, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, awesome. Hello, hello, questions? Siento. No, so you finished? Yes. Okay, excellent. Volunteers, entonces, pues. Okay. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay, excellent. Uh, so, okay, uh, me había salido de la imagen. <laughs> ah, all right. So, no worries. Uh, I'm just going to check one more room and then uh, we will be back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. So you finished? Yes, yeah, teacher. All right. Excellent. Perfect. So we are going to return to the main session right now. So please join the main session now. Thank you. Okay, okay. So we are just waiting for the other guys to join the main session again, all right? Okay, teacher. So in the meantime, I can share the screen.
Excellent. Okay, welcome back everybody. So now let's just continue again with this activity. So now that you have discussed with your classmates, what are the possible answers? I need a volunteer for number one. Who is going to be my volunteer for number one? Me, teacher. All right, tell me, what is it? Uh, number one con letter E. Number one and letter E, so it's gonna be, oh, one second. I need another one, this one. Okay, so you said this one right here, yes? Yes. So workplace guidelines contain information on the procedures that apply within the workplace so employees have rules to follow. Yes, that's actually correct. Very good job, thank you. Number two, what would you do for number two? Number two with letter B. With letter B, all right. So training manuals, a book of or booklet of instructions used to improve the quality of a performed task. Perfect, that's correct. All right, so what about number three? Letter C. Thank you, Catherine. That will be like the policy outlines the entitlements and parameters for employee time off in relation to non-occupational illness or injury, all right? So yes, that is going to be letter C. Thank you. Number four? No. A. A, payment, yeah, of course, right? So it says payment procedures. It says, a pr procedure, sorry, for making authorized payments to vendors and other who provides goods and services. Thank you, thank you. And the last one, harassment and discrimination guidelines. What is it? Letter D. Letter D, exactly. The last one who's missing. Make clear that the harassment and discrimination will not be tolerated and set standards and expectations for behaviors. All right, so great. Good job, everybody. I really appreciate your effort here, all right? So now, before we move to the next activity, let me ask you, do you have questions? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, so in that case, let me just continue here with the next one. All right, so let's see here. Okay, okay, okay. So now it's time for you to read, 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 and read. All right, so... We are going to have this conversation, which is a long conversation, but don't worry, you're going to have the time for practicing it, all right? So, and I can definitely share this right now here in the WhatsApp group, so you can see it there. One second. Okay, excellent. So you can have a better access to this conversation. So let's see. All right, it is in the WhatsApp group, ladies and gentlemen. And now I am going to read it for you first, and then you guys are going to have the opportunity to go back to the breakout rooms and practice this conversation again, all right? So it says right here, Sarah, let me just go here, all right? So we are here. So we just go here in this one, right? So, hey, Mark. I wanted to talk to you about the new procedure manual our company implemented. Have you had a chance to take a look at it? Yes, I have. It's quite comprehensive, isn't it? I think it's a great tool to have. It really helps in streamlining our processes and ensures that we are all on the same page. Absolutely. That's one of the key benefits of having a procedure manual. It provides clear guidelines and instructions, eliminating any confusion or misunderstandings that may arise among employees. I agree. It's especially useful for new hires. Having a manual to refer to makes their onboarding process much smoother. They can quickly get up to speed without having to constantly bother their colleagues with questions. 
Exactly. It saves time and effort for everyone involved. Plus, it also ensures consistency in our work. When we all follow the same procedures, it becomes easier to maintain quality standards and meet client expectations. I couldn't agree more. And what I really appreciate about the procedure manual is that it's regularly updated. It keeps up with changes in our industry and takes into account feedback from employees. This way, it remains relevant and efficient. That's a great point, Mark. It's crucial to update the manual periodically to reflect any process changes or advancements in technology. This ensures that we are always using the most efficient and effective methods in our work. Definitely. Overall, I think our procedure manual is, valuable, is a valuable resource. It simplifies our work, promotes consistency, and provides a foundation for employee development and success. Absolutely. I'm glad we have it. It's a, it's a valuable tool that supports our everyday tasks and contributes to the overall success of our team and organization. That's it, all right? So I know it's a long um, conversation, but that's why you guys are going to be working in couples or like in the breakout rooms that we have been working before so we can practice this one, all right? So you once you can be Sarah and the other one can be Mark, then you can switch, all right? So I, in order for you to um, practice both parts of the conversation, all right? So what are you going to do? You are going to go to the breakout rooms with your partners and practice the conversation. I will give you a couple of minutes so you can practice the conversation. And after that time, that the, after the time's up, you are going to return to the main session and I'm going to ask for volunteers so you can participate reading the conversation in front of your classmates. It's that clear? Yes, yes. yes. Great, excellent. So everybody, it's please. Easy, chair. Thank you. Let's go back to the breakout rooms then. All right. So let's see. One second. All right. One second. Uh oh, we have actually a difficulty here. All right, so give me one quick second, people. This thing here. Okay, okay, participate. Yes, participate. Uh -uh. That's two. One second, my friends. I just got here an okay. issue. Okay, so I just recreated the breakout rooms because I don't know what happens here. It changed everything. Eh, si alguien no queda con, con alguien con quien practicar, let me know so I can make some changes, okay? So let's just open the rooms again. Go ahead.
Okay. Hi, Mark. I wanted to talk to you about the new procedures manner of our company implement. How you had a chance to take a look at look at it? Mm, yes, I have. It's quite comprehensive, isn't it? I think it's a great great tool to have. It really helps in streaming our processes and ensures that we are all on the same page. Absolutely. That's one of the key benefits of having a product manual. It provides clear guidelines and instructions, eliminating any confusion or misunderstanding that may arise among employees. I agree. It's especially useful for new hires. Having a manual to refer to make their onboarding process much uh, smoother, they can quickly get up to speed without having to constantly bother their colleagues with questions. Exactly. It saves time and effort for everyone involved. involved. Plus, it also ensures consistency in our work we, when we all follow the same procedures. It becomes easier to maintain quality standards and meet client expectation. expectation. I couldn't agree more. And what I really appreciate, appreciate about the procedure manual is that it's regularly updated. It keeps up with changes in your in our industry and takes into account feedback from employees. This way, it remains relevant and efficient. Let me see what we're going to tell Okay. 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 Continue. Yeah. Mm, babo. Voy con me. We are follow the same procedure. It becomes easier to maintain quality standard and meet client expectation. Um, I call I call don't agree more. And what I really appreciate about the procedure manual is that it's regularly updated. Ah, se me apagó. Updated. Update. Update. Okay. Ay, me perdí. <laughs> it keeps. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And Mark. Yeah, the onboarding. Era, they they can quickly. Ah, se me perdió, me perdí. Era, uh, they they can quickly get up to speed without having to constantly brother their colleagues with questions or not mm. no ya habíamos pasado eh? <laughs> yes ah, yeah. okay so en el siguiente procedure yeah. manual después Sara y después Mark regularly update you know? update uh, it keeps with, with change in your industry and takes into account feedback from employees this way, it remains relevant and efficient. That's a Hello, Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Hi, uh, hello. No worries. I was supposed to have here a... a <laughs> Who is it? Edwin, but I don't know what happens. 
Okay. So let's see what happens. Yeah, supposedly Edwin is supposed to be here. Maybe he had connection problems. Let me send you to a different room. No problem, okay? Okay, thanks. Oh, Edwin is, is joining the group. One second. Hello, Edwin. Edwin, Edwin. Hello, hello. Edwin, can you participate? Hello, hello. Also, yeah, Evelyn, I'm sending you to a different group right now, okay? Okay, teacher. Ah, okay, excellent. Okay, Edwin, so I'm sorry, I will have to move you then to a different group para que um, Evelyn can participate and you can be a listener, okay? There you go, um, Evelyn and Edwin, you can join the group. No problem. Standard and need to expectation. I could agree more and um, what I really Appreciate above the procedure manual is that it's regularly you you adapted it quick with a change in our industry and take into account feedback from the employee. This way is made relevant and efficient that's a great a great point mark it's crucial to update the manual periodically to reflect any process change or advancement in technology this ensures that we are always using the most efficient an effective method in our work. Overall, uh, definitely. Overall, I think our procedure manual is a valuable re resource in simplifying our work, promote, promote cons consistency, and pro provide a fund foundation for employees, the develop, development and success. Absolutely. I'm glad we have it. It's an invaluable tool that supports our everyday tasks and contributes to the overall. Okay, Evelyn con Edwin. Edwin. Hello, Edwin. Edwin. Oh, sí, ahí estamos. Great, excellent. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, Bye. I am Sara. Help me. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay. Hey, Mark. I want to talk to you about the new procedures manual or company implement how you had a chain to take a lot a lot at it. Yes, I have. Is quite I think a great tool to have a process and improve that we are all on the same space. Absolutely, that's one of the key benefits of having a procedures manual. It provides clear guidelines and instruction, eliminating any confusion or misunderstanding tending that may arise among employees. I agree. It's really useful for me, child. Maybe manual, mother, the processes, and ensure that we are all on the same page. Hello, you finished? Hello. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, all right, excellent, very good. So maybe you can practice one more time before we close the rooms, all right? Tienen tiempo de practicar una vez más. If you want, continue. Okay, okay. All right. Continue. Please. Um, I, I, go, I agree. I agree. It's a special, especially useful for new areas. Have, having a manual to refer to make their uh, um, board, boarding process much smaller. They can quickly get up to a speed without having to co constantly bother time Collage with question. That is colleague. Colleague. Correct. No, I creo que era la anterior. Sara. Mm -hmm. bueno, ese, ese que le corregí era el segundo mark en la segunda línea. They can quickly get up to speed without having you constantly bother their colleagues with questions. Y después pasar. Okay, exactly. It saves time and effort for everyone involved. Plus, it also ensures consistency in our work when we all follow the same procedure. It comes easier to maintain quality standard and meet client expectations. I could agree more and um, what I really uh, appreciate above the procedure manual is that is regular it you you adapted it quit would uh, win change in our industry and take in account feedback from employees. Uh, this why it remains re relevant and deficient. Mm -hmm. 
That's a great point, Mark. It's crucial to update the manual period periodically to reflect any process change or advancement in technology. This ensures that we are always using the most efficient and effective method in our work. Definitely. Overall, I think our procedure manual is a valuable re resource in simplicity or work, promotes uh, consistency and provide a foundation for employee de de development and success. Absolutely. I'm glad we have it. It's an invaluable tool that supports our everyday that and contribute to the overall success of our team and organization. Okay, finish. Okay, excellent. So let's return to the main session right now so we can choose some volunteers, okay? Okay. Welcome back, everybody. So we are just waiting for um, the rest of the classmates to join the conversation here. Okay. Excellent. So there we have the screen. So I need now two volunteers. Who's going to be my first couple of volunteers for reading this conversation? Mm -hmm. Come on, everybody. It's going to be easy. It's a piece of cake. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> Me, teacher. All right, Gloria. But you were not working alone. So who were you working with? Jill. Okay, Nuria and Jill. Are you ready, girls? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, Jill. You, Sarah? Okay. Uh, hey, Mark. I wanted to talk to you about the new procedure manual or company implemented. Have you had a chance to take a look look at it? Yes, I have. It's quite comprehensive, isn't it? I think it's a great tool to have. It really helps in streamlining our process processes and ensure that we are all on the same page. Absolutely. That's one of the key benefits of having a procedure manual. It provides clear guidelines and instructions, eliminating any confusion or misunderstandings that may arise among employees. I agree. It's especially useful for the new hires. Having a manual to refer to make the onboarding, onboarding process much smoother. They can quickly get up to speed without having to constantly bother their college with questions. Exactly. It saves time and effort for everyone involved, plus, it also ensures consistency in our work when we all uh, follow the same procedures it becomes easier to maintain quality standards and meet client expectations i couldn't agree more and what i really appreciate about the pre 
de procedure manual procedure exactly. excuse me procedure you said procedure okay procedure mm -hmm. manual is that it's regularly update it keep up with change uh, in our industry and take to account feedback from employees this way it remains relevant and efficient that's a great mark um oh perdón sorry mm -hmm. ay no me deja okay yo mi teacher se me volvió loco aquí Espera. no problem um that's a great a uh, point mark it's called it's crucial to update the manual periodically uh, to reflect any process change or at the advancements in technology this ensures that we are always using the most efficient and effective methods in our work. Def definitely. Overall, I think our procedure manual is a valuable resource. It simpl simplifies our work, prom promotes consistency, and provides a foundation for employee development and success. Absolutely. I'm glad we have it. It's an invaluable tool that supports our everyday tasks and contributes to the overall success of our team and organization. Okay, great. Excellent, girls. All right, so you did a very good job. Just a couple of words right there that you can see underlined in uh, you know, on the screen, right, which is comprehensive. The first one, comprehensive. Repeat it. Comprehensive. comprehensive very good and then those two right here misunderstandings repeat it misunderstanding thank you arise the next one arise 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 then this one right here useful useful useful, useful. yes very good and then yes. the ones we know this one, procedure, 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 right? Repeat procedure, it. Procedure, procedure, procedure. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right. So Nuria is familiar with that word, right? So. Yes, <laughs> procedure. Thank you. Thank you, girls. You did a very good job. Thank you so much for the effort, right? So that was absolutely good. So now let's just continue with another couple. So who is the next couple? My friends, please tell me. Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Daniel, Daniel Membreño. So Daniel, who are you working with? Who? With Mr. Esau, right? Or not? Catherine. Oh, Catherine. Okay, Catherine, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Please start. Hey, Mark. I wanted to talk to you about the new procedure manual. Our company implemented how you have a chance to take a look at it. Yes, I have. It's quite comprehensive, isn't it? I think it's a great tool to have. It really helps in streaming with our process and ensure that we are all on the same page. Absolutely, that's one of the key benefits of having a procedure manner. It provides clear guidelines and instruction, eliminating any confusion or misunderstanding that may arise among employees. I agree. It's especially useful for new 
Hires. Excuse me? Again, again. I agree. Uh -huh. It's especially useful for new hires having a manual to refer to make the onboarding process much smoother. They can quickly get up to screen without having to constantly bother the college with questions. Exactly. It saves time and effort for everyone involved. Plus, it also ensures consistency in our work when we all follow the same procedure. It becomes easier to maintain quality standards and meet clean expectations. I couldn't agree more. And what I really, I really appreciate about the procedure manual is that it's regularly on day. It keeps it up with change in our industry and take into account feedback from employees. This way, it remains relevant and efficient. That's a great point, Mark. It's crucial to update the manual periodic, periodically to reflect any process change or advancement in technology. This ensure that we are always using the most efficient and effective method in our work. I think our procedure manual is a valuable resource. It simply fits our work, promotes consistency, and provides a functional foundation, a foundation for employee development and social. Absolutely. I'm glad we have it. It is an invaluable tool that supports our everyday task and contribute to the overall success of our team and organization. That's it. All right. Excellent. So thank you very much for that one. You did a very good job in general, right? So I congratulate you for that one. So just have a couple of observations right here, which is in the pronunciation of the word useful. Repeat it, my friends. Yes, and this one is not college because college is university. This word is colegas, which means colleagues. Okay. There you go. And this one right here is not client, it's client. Client. Okay. Thank you. Exactly. Everything else was actually pretty good. So, congratulations and very good job. Thank you. Okay. So, let's see. One couple more and then we finish with this activity. Who's going to be the next couple? Evelyn Jamilet, thank you. All right, Evelyn, who are you working with? Uh, Edwin Esaú or right. Sonia. I don't know. You decided. Uh, Edwin. Okay. Hello, Edwin. Ready? Mm. Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's just start. Uh, Edwin, can you use your microphone? I don't think so. And who else was working with you? Okay, teacher. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, Mark. I want to talk to you about the new procedure manual our company implement 
how you had a chain chance to take a lot a lot at it. Yes, I have to acquire complexes. You can see. I think is a great behave. You will really help in explaining our process and answer that we are all in the same page. Absolutely, that's one of the key benefits of having a procedures manual. It provides clear guidelines and instruction, eliminating any confusion or misunderstand misunderstanding that may arise among employees. I agree. It is especially useful for new hard baby a manual to refer to makes their boarding process much smaller. They can quietly get up to a speed we have having to constantly follow the college with questions. Exactly. It says time and effort for everyone involved. Plus, it also ensures consistency in our work when we all follow the same procedures, it becomes easier to ma maintain quality standard and meet client expectation. I could add a remark and what I really appreciate about the producer's manual is that is regularly updated. It is that depending on the industry and takes in account feedback from employees this way. It remains relevant and efficient. That's a great point, Mark. It's crucial to update the manual periodically to reflect any process change or advancement in te technology. This ensure that we are always using the most efficient and effective method in our work. Definitely, overall, I think our product manual is Value resource, it simplifies our work, promotes, promotes consciently, and provides a foundation for employee development, development, and success. Absolutely. I'm glad we have it. It's an invaluable tool that support our everyday task and contribute contributes to the overall success of our team and organization. Thank you very much uh, guys for participating and be the volunteers. This activity definitely helps you to improve your pronunciation when you're reading aloud. All right, so just be careful with the pronunciation of the words we have right here. The first one, please repeat it with me. Comprehensive. Go ahead. Comprehensive. Comprehensive. Thank you very much. This one, hires. Hires. Thank you. Let's go for this one. Definitely. 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 This one, overall. Overall. There you go. This one, valuable. Valuable. Thank you. This one, invaluable. 
invaluable tool. Tool. And the last one, organization. Organization. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, for participating in these activities. And before we move to the next one, I have a question for you. So, guys, do you have any questions regarding vocabulary from this paragraph, from this conversation? Any word that you didn't understand and you would like to know the meaning? Vocabulary, vocabulary? No? Can I continue with the next activity? Yes. Overall. Which one, That's sorry? It. Overall. Ah, overall, it's in general. It's going to be overall in general. That one, that one, right? Yeah, sure. Misunderstanding means un malentendido. Okay. Anything por ahí escuchar alguien más? Any other word? Aris. Arise. Arise. Surgir. Um, smooth, smoother. Smoother. Sure. Ese es el uh, comparativo del adjetivo smooth, que significa suave. Uh, so el comparativo sería más suave, right? Más suave. Eh, de, de onboarding. Uh -huh, como fluido también. Ajá. What is it? Onboarding. Uh, let's see this one. Onboarding. You said. Oh, como una inducción, actually. Onboarding. Okay. Uh -huh. Any other? No more words, no more questions, no more help with vocabulary. Uh, Y eh, la parte de I'm glad. It's just que like, es... like I'm happy. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. It's like happy. The same. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Nuria. Anybody else with questions regarding vocabulary? No? No questions? Okay, no problem. So let's just continue with the next activity here, all right? So then everybody, we have this following activity, all right? And this one right here, you are going to return to the breakout rooms and the activity will be that you guys are going to look for the meaning of the vocabulary that I have here for you, all right? Which it means, ustedes van a buscar eh, qué significan todos estos esas expressions that you can see right now here in your screen, all right? So, is it clear? Yes? Yes. Okay, yes, excellent. Teacher. So, right now, I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group so you can actually see a copy of those words before you go to the, um, to the breakout rooms, right? There you go. Excellent. So, all right. The information has been sent. So now I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms again. And then you guys are going to investigate what is the meaning of those words there. All right. Please join the breakout rooms right now so you can do it.
Ok, creo que sí. So Edwin, you can join room number five, okay? Thank you. Right, just let me share. Vamos. Poner una mesa. Uh, sharing a table, sí. Este, Cómo preparar una mesa. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, um, decorating why? 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 Why, teacher? Excuse me? Wine. Wine. Wine, así wine. Wine. Ajá. Ok. Eh... Eh... Decaring. Decaring. The canting eh... wine. The, the canting wine. Correct. Es como... De cantar. Uh -huh. De cantar vino. Well, what is it? De cantar. Remember that, you know, de cantar vino no es nada más que el acto de trasladar el vino de la botella a otro recipiente más ancho, en este caso puede ser una copa. All right, so, o u otro bote que en donde no reciba oxígeno el vino, right? So. Ah, uh, ok. Mm -hmm. Vino. Recuerden a chip change. Change. Chief change. Eh, sería como solicitar un cambio de turno. Uh -huh. Un cambio de turno. Voy a win de chef. Schedule. 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 Correct. Hecho. Uh -huh. okay. Seguir el horario. Seguir el horario, correcto. Um, under under same kitchen per, personnel. Addressing kitchen personnel. Dirigir al personal de cocina. Mm -hmm. Correct. Going to to know the menu. Conocer el menú. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. So I will go to a different room right now. If you have questions, just let me know, okay? Okay. 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 Dress code. Código de... Addressing kitchen person. Personnel, correct. Kitchen. Addressing. Hello. Addressing kitchen person. 
Um, dirigiéndose al personal de cocina. Mm -hmm. Correct. Getting the know the menu. Mm -hmm. Mm Getting to know the menu, correct. -hmm. Como teniendo el menú ahora. <laughs> no. No. Now, getting to know the menu would be just like conociendo el menú. Okay. Okay. Uh, dress. Código de vestimenta. Dress code. Uh -huh. Código de vestimenta. Eh. Getting to know. The dress code, yes. Dirigiendo a los clientes, a addressing customers. Al cliente. al cliente. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O a los clientes. Customers. Sí, a los clientes. Uh -huh. About tip and taxes. Sobre. Sobre como los consejos impuestos. y uh -huh. impuestos y uh -huh. impuestos. Y consejos. No, no. And remember no, que no. tips, tips is, um, yeah, it puede ser un consejo, una recommendation, pero en este contexto significa um, propina. Ah, propina, ah, lo, sobre propina y, e impuestos. E impuestos, ¿Eh? correct. En taxes. Uh -huh. prevención. Y prevención de accidentes y seguridad. Correct. Uh -huh. <laughs> prevention of accidents and safety. Safety, safety. Safety, safety. Safety, safety. 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 Okay. Okay. accidentes, prevención de accidentes y seguridad. Of accidents and safety. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you got it. So you have one minute to finish, and then you can join the main session again. All right. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, we are just waiting for everybody else to join the class again. Okay, excellent. So now that everybody is back here, I uh, just want to know if I have a volunteer, volunteer, volunteer for this one. All right, who's going to be my volunteer? Mm -hmm. Who's my volunteer right now, people, for setting a table? What is setting a table? Eh, poniendo una mesa, teacher. Poniendo la mesa, all right. Poner la mesa, if you want to say it like that one. Thank you very much. Uh-huh. What is decanting wine? 
Degustar vino. Degustar vino. Will that be the correct one? No. Uh -huh. Yo lo, lo entiendo como, como descorchar. 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 Are you sure? Let's see this one right here. Uh, tenemos tres options right now. Destapar, descorchar. Igual the first one. Degustar. Degustar. All right. So, any other option? Decantar. Tenemos la option number four. Decanting wine. All right. So, um, let's say this one. You know, me quedo con la última, which means decantar. All right. So, decanting wine involves pouring off the clear liquid from a bottle of wine to free it from impurities, all right? So in other words, the canting wine, it's the act of separating the wine from its sediments, eh, et cetera, all right? So basically people, lo que significa de cantar el vino, all right? Which is the correct translation for this one right here. It would be, um, you know, Spanish is de cantar, right? So we cannot go in this one right here. De cantar el vino. Decantar el vino significa sacarlo de la botella y pasarlo a otro recipiente sin que le dé oxígeno, right? So, para limpiarlo de cualquier impureza. That's basically what this means. It might be a process in a restaurant, of course, right? It's not something that we will do at home. All right, so requesting a, a shift change, what is it? Cambiar, cambiando un turno. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Cambiando un turno. Yeah, that's the idea, but what would be like the right translation, people? Solicitar un cambio de turno. Solicitar un cambio de turno. Very good. De turno. That's right, that's right. Exactly. Thank you very much. Solicitar un cambio de turno. Very good. So let's go for the next one. Following the schedule. What's following the schedule? Siguiendo el horario. Seguir el horario. Very good. Very good, excellent. So then, what will be the next one? Addressing kitchen personnel. Dirigirse al personal de cocina. Dirigirse al personal de cocina. There you go, exactly, right? So, al personal de cocina. Thank you. So, let's see this one right here. Excellent. Uh -huh. Aham. Yeah. So what about like the next one? Getting to know the menu. Conociendo el menú. All right. So conocer el menú. Oops. There you go. Conocer el menú. El dress code. What is el dress code, people? Código de vestimenta. Very good. Excellent. So what should be the código de vestimenta at the restaurant? There you go, excellent. Then the next one, what is it? Addressing customers. Tips in Texas. Dirigirse a los clientes. Clientes sobre propinas e impuestos. Oh, thank you for the next one. Uh, about tips, this one. Sobre, one second here. It will be like sobre propinas. E impuestos. E impuestos. Texas. Thank you. And the last one, what is it? Prevention and accidents and safety. Mm -hmm. What's that? Seguridad y prevención de accidentes. Prevención de accidentes y seguridad. Y prevención. Accidentes. De accidentes. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Yeah, okay, tenemos actually what they mean. All right, so very good, very good, very good. Now, what are we going to do in this one? Let me take a screenshot here so you can have and keep the meaning of this. Teacher, I things. have. Tell me. Teacher. Tell me, tell me. I have a commercial. A commercial, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I, meet, I live near to the beach, El Pimental. Sí, El Pimental. Uh huh. And in this moment, it started the, the wind very hard. Oh, really? 
Okay, all right. Thank you very much for the information, right? So, para que lo tomemos en cuenta, people, so we can take that into consideration. Remember that everything was going to start um, at the beach area, right? And then it was going to move to the cities, right? So, just be careful, right? Thank you for the information. Thank you for the heads up. All right. Thank you, thank you. It's just like this one, heads up, así. Heads up. Como una advertencia. Like this. All right. Excellent, excellent. Now I'm going to send this right now to the WhatsApp group. One quick second. Okay. Oops. All right. Okay, okay. I'm sending this to the group. I'm sorry. The computer is still processing the request. It will be there in a couple of seconds. So now, what is going to be the last activity for you today? So the activity, the last activity for you today, it's this one. So uh, this vocabulary that we have here, it's the one that you already investigated, que significa, right? So this vocabulary that you can see here, it's the one that you ever investigated, right? So now lo vamos a ordenar en un index, all right? ¿Y cuáles son las sections que le van a, a, a proponer? ¿Qué significa esto? Well, yesterday we checked this one, ladies and gentlemen, and as you might remember, tuvimos como en las partes de un manual, right? So I don't know if you remember. Uh, let's see here. Like this one. So, vamos a ver. Do you remember que vimos eso ayer como like the table of contents? All right. So, vimos como iba el manual así. Entonces, vamos a hacer algo parecido. All right. So, tonight. Les voy a dejar un example here that you can see. All right. This is una tabla de contenidos o un index. All right. So, basically, como un índice. All right. So, about the things that you can actually organize. ¿Qué van a organizar en este index? It's going to be very simple. Vamos a ver. Esto es like... Ese es el server training manual. Esos son las cosas que va a contener su manual. Y ustedes lo van a pasar de eso que está aquí a eso que está acá. All right. So remember, dentro de cada sección debe de haber, for example, una subsección, um, una subsection here que especifique qué más va a ser. For example, veamos. En la primera, so here we have, for example, setting a table. ¿Qué dijimos que era setting a table, my friends? Poner la mesa. Poner, Poner la, mesa. la mesa. Thank you very much. All right. So, and you go on this one. Entonces, en la subsección, pon, supongamos, hacemos esto acá. You know, one second. Let me specify here. All right. So, imagine that we go here. Sorry, one second. So, what is it? Okay. Imagine oh. that we go here and we go on this one. All right, so le ponemos aquí texto. Como era, era setting the table, right? Setting the table. Y luego aquí vamos a hacer el space. All right. So we can actually go this one right here. Y ponemos los subtemas de lo que podemos usar nosotros para hacer the table, right? So, ¿qué sería qué, people? Right, ¿qué sería lo primero para hacer the table? Para poner una mesa. Manteles, mantel, no sé cómo se Ajá. dice. Sería like put a tablecloth. Ajá. The tablecloth. All right. So, ¿qué sería lo demás que va? ¿Cómo se dicen los cubiertos? Ajá. Uh, servilletas. Ajá. ¿Ahora se cubiertos? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Ah, ya vieron. That was from the first class. <laughs> anyway, so let's see here. So you go on this one right here. All right. So put the cutlery. Cutlery, sorry. All right. So cover then with the nap. Huh? How do you say it? The napkin. The napkin. Bye. Es así. All right. So. <laughs> 
All right, so excellent. So you go on this one. So you can say this one right here. And we can go ahead and check this one. You know, the, the napkins. Good. Excellent. Entonces es lo que vamos a ir haciendo. So, tomamos uno de los anteriores, this one's right here, y lo colocamos con este order here, so we can actually see it, right? Como like, por lo menos dos o tres cositas que podemos sacar eh, de cada uno de los main contents. Is that clear, people? Yes? Yeah, clear, clear, clear. All right, excellent. So, please, people, lo que sí les voy a pedir de favor es que lo trabajen, ya sea en algún programa en la computer, y si no pueden en el computer porque están desde el phone, en el cuaderno, y cuando sea el momento de presentarlos, tomen una picture y la compartan, ya sean en el grupo o en Zoom, so, para que podamos ver cómo se ha trabajado. Yes? Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So, let's just go back to the breakout rooms, people. All right. base sí. a otro recipiente pero igual para abrirlo necesitamos un sacacorcho o no sí, sí podría yes. para decantar el el vino uh -huh. necesitamos un sacacorcho that's it exactly so sería preciso como like first you open the bottle con el sacacorcho en Jarius hay sacacorcho my friend Saca corcho. Saca corcho, me decía. Corkscrew. Corkscrew. That one. All right. So, podría ser first, open the bottle with a corkscrew. Y ahí, vertir. How do you say vertir? Pero como... Necesitamos un recipiente también. ¿Verdad? ¿En qué lo, en qué lo estás haciendo, Sonia? Perdón. Un bowl. Eh, yo estoy trabajando aquí en el libro. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Como él dijo que necesitaba un documento para cuando uh -huh. lo presentemos. 
Yo lo estoy haciendo aquí en el libro. Si querés, eh, manda una foto o una captura. Ok. Vaya. Y, number one, use a course, course crew. ¿Cómo dijo, Tisha? Course, course crew. Two. Uh, number second, Paul Berthier. Uh, number three, bowl, un recipiente. Para vaciar el vino necesitamos un recipiente. Mm -hmm. Así sería, teacher. ¿O no? ¿Cómo sería otra vez? We need a, res a, a another bottle, puede ser, otra botella. Ajá, un, como un recipiente. Mm, no recipiente, porque recipiente puede ser algo más abierto, como un plato. All right, so, Entonces pero... tiene que ser botella. Yes, porque es pasarle de una botella a otro. Ok. Uh -huh. Pero si decimos una nueva botella, a new bottle. A new bottle, así. yeah, it can be. Ok. I will go to a different room. If you have questions, just let me know. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Uh, hello, what happens in this group? Hello, hello. Hello. Everybody's listening right here. Oh my God. Oh, hey, tell me, Mr. Flores, you're working on that? Yes. Okay. Thank you for, for example, uh -huh. with wine, uh, serve a cup of wine and prepare a drink and pairing some wines. Pair, okay. Pairing some wines. Wine. Mm -hmm. Pairing okay. some wines. Correct. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Eh, como a eso se le pone una hora. Uh -huh. Questions, questions. No, teacher. Is that clear? Excellent, volunteers. Horario. Uh -huh. Puede ser sketchup a via libre. Y una particular particular day. A baila de hoy. A baila de una particular day. A baila ball you trying to say? Es como disponibilidad de horario en ¿Cómo dijiste, Catherine? ¿En un particular day? Eh, un día particular. Availability.
in the um, organization of the event? Y la otra vez. It's okay. If you don't finish, it's okay because of the time. Let's go back to the main session, all right? Okay, teacher. Um, Ay, Dios, sí, aquí es una diez. Yes, I didn't feel the time. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Daniel, do you have any um, file to share? Any screen you want to share? Or I don't know if you were working on that. Uh, reading my book, teacher. On your book? Will you take yeah. a picture? You can send it to the group so I can share it from my computer. No, really. It's <laughs> my letter. <laughs> All right, no problem. <laughs> so perhaps you can explain to me uh, one of the sections. What activity can you explain? Go ahead, tell me. Um, setting tables and la otra, espérame, espérame, espérame. Esa es así, me dice usted básicamente, la otra, decaining wine, whining, eh, wine. put a cup glass, mm -hmm. de, and the kind wine. Mm -hmm. And the three is required a shift chain, mm -hmm. a state, a state case, um clear expected expectations early request okay the, the number four following the schedule tell about this question uh-huh um arrive five minutes early arrive remember arrive sorry arrive five minutes early is mm -hmm. uh, schedule availability uh, availability availability uh -huh. in a particular day mm -hmm. and only this teacher. that's fine don't worry don't worry you did a good job so at least you understood the activity and you were able to provide the examples correctly so daniel thank you very much all for sharing that one and you were working with um what's your partner daniel yeah catherine Catherine, so good job, Daniel and Catherine, all right? So uh, who's the next one? I guess Nuria says volunteer, right, Nuria? Hello? She left, all right. Any other volunteer? The last one, so we can go to sleep, people. Who's going to be my last volunteer? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That was Sonia. Sonia, Sonia. Are you there, Sonia? Let's share. Solo esos dos hicimos. It's okay. Don't worry. Go ahead. Explain them. Okay. Um use a course group. Okay, one second. Let me just ah uh -huh. a uh, car screw. Uh -huh. A power a new border. Uh huh. Number three, write request. Yes. Send tips, change request. That's it, teacher. That's it. All right. Excellent. So yes, I can see them here. All right. Okay. So, yeah, that's correct. Thank you very much. All right. Very good. Excellent, guys. All right. So, well, fly, the time flew, right? And the time went by so quick, all right, so that we didn't feel the time. So, now it's more than 10 p.m., right? So, well, we are going to stop right here, right? So, because it's time for you to go to rest. Good job, everybody. Thank you. I really love the activities tonight. Good job reading. Good job translating. Good job actually working on the last activity. Today, you were perfectly good. Thank you very much for participating in the activities in the class. Remember, if you have questions, text me. I will be more than happy to help you. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Take care.
Good night, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you, you too.